Okay, here we have the head. We've gotten all the chains and sprockets off. The top's done. Front's done. The top up here is done. The front's done here. We don't have to do any more here. Now we just have to start working on the sides. We're moving this stuff over here and that stuff over there. I'm going to start working on removing the intake manifold system, which is over on this side. We've got the exhaust manifold system going back over there. Um, but we need to get that stuff taken off here. And so what I'm going to do is start by, we're going to disconnect the negative battery from the, or the negative terminal from the battery. And we're going to open the gas tank, uh, gas cap. the dashboard here and we've got the fuse box we need to remove this relay right here the bottom relay is the one that should control the fuse the fuel pump just pull it out okay so I've take I've undone the, the negative from the battery I pulled the fuse, I've opened my gas tank, <clears throat> and we'll do pressure that way. I'm also just going to loosen this bolt a little bit, just to make sure I've released the pressure and don't have a big spray of gasoline later on. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to use my 19 millimeter wrench right on there, and I'm also going to take a rag. I'm going to wrap a rag around this because I am concerned that there is going to be some gasoline coming out of that. And I want to make sure it doesn't spray up in my face. Here's my rag. That'll just wrap right around there. All right, so I finished loosening up this bolt. Uh, I, I relieved any pressure. I didn't have any problems. Nothing came out hardly at all. It didn't spray or anything. I was good. Um, next step is I'm going to undo this. Uh, hose clamp here with a an eight millimeter wrench. Uh, I'm gonna undo that. Now I'm also going to undo this plug right here. And it looks like so you just pull the plug out from here. There's that. I'm going to undo this plug here, and then I'm going to undo these four clips, and then this whole piece should just be able to pull right out. I'm going to take two hands to pull this, undo this clip though. Alright, so moving off our project here, uh, I, so I've removed and set aside the, the intake housing there. So. I've gone ahead and removed some, some plugs and some hoses here. I'm going to point them out real quick. Uh, I've removed the idle air control valve that was plugged in here. Um, over here we have the EVAP purge valve, the throttle position sensor. All these have di the different size or different shaped plugs. So I'm not too concerned about labeling these because th these wires are obvious where they're going to go. Uh, on the back side here I have unhooked the ground wires that were um, connected to this bolt here. Um, I've also unhooked the uh, unplugged the manifold absolute pressure sensor and back behind here way down there kind of back hard to see um, I have unplugged the EGR valve connector. I've also removed the brake booster hose. I've removed the EVAP purge hose here. Uh, see there's a coolant bypass hose down here that I've unhooked from underneath the the manifold connection. I've also unhooked the other coolant bypass hose there. Uh, that was the hose that connected to our coolant bypass pipe that we unhooked earlier from these two bolt holes. Um, let's see what else do we got. Uh, one last thing here is we got the fuel pressure regulator hose. A little tiny hose here. I'm going to pull that off. Okay, that should be all the hoses and connectors. As you can see, there's these two hoses we've already removed earlier, the, the breather hose and the PCB valve hose. 
uh, we remove from the camshaft cover. Now we need to remove the throttle from <clears throat> the intake here. So that's pretty simply done. We're just going to take our 10 millimeter wrench and undo this bolt right there. It should come right out. Once that comes out, uh, our, those cables will loosen. And if you look real closely on this wheel here, at the end of the cable there's a little ball. And the cable will flip up through this little slot here and that ball end will slide right out. So you'll be able to remove both those cables in such a way. There's one on each side. Alright, now our next step is we're going to need to remove the fuel rail. Basically, remember, we're trying to remove the intake manifold, which is this part down here. In order to get to all these bolts that run along here, we're going to need to get some space. Removing this fuel rail will allow us to do that. Um, it's going to be a little cramped. We're going to remove this fuel rail with this, by using 12 millimeter socket. Uh, there should be a bolt here we're going to remove. We're also going to remove a couple bolts back here uh, in the back and one here in the middle. Out. Right there. Remove all those and then we'll be able to lift off this fuel rail and pull out the fuel injectors here that are going down into the uh, cylinder head. We're also then going to remove the bracing brackets for the intake manifold. And there's one here you can see. We'll remove this bracket by removing that bolt and the bolt on the other end down here. There's also a, a bracket back behind here. Very difficult to see at this angle in the dark here. But there is a bracket underneath. It's at an angle. And it's bracing up the back side of the intake manifold here. And it, it's that one right there. You can just barely see in the light there. You want to remove both of those. Okay, now I'm going to remove the fuel rail here. I want to get this out. It runs along there. Get out of the way so I can get down here to the intake manifold where it connects to the cylinder head. I've already removed the three 12 millimeter bolts that were in, that connect it to the top. There's one here, another one right there, and one in the very back here. This one in the back is important because there's a plug that also has a grounding washer that fit underneath the bolt when it went in this hole. My next step is I'm going to remove this banjo fitting from the back here. Keep in mind that when you take out the bolt for this banjo connection here, a lot of gas is going to come out. So you might want to put a rag like this underneath there to, just to soak up the gas that runs back out. It's the gas that was actually in the tube itself. It's just going to I'll have to run out somewhere and it'll come out right there. My next step is there are some bolts here. I'm going to undo these bolts here. They are holding the, this rail on the top, the little rail, to this, the bigger rail underneath. So there's a bolt here and a bolt here. We're going to undo those. And then we're probably going to have to undo this hose clamp right here at either end maybe this end and that should do it <clears throat> alright I've gone ahead and I've disconnected this hose here and I did pull this hose here from the bottom it was on a little connection down here on this tube here let's see if we can see that there it is okay and the last thing I should think I need to do here is just unplug these wires from the harness and then this fuel rail should come out with the fuel injectors connected to it okay fuel rail is gone we've gotten that out of there you know one other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and remove this harness um, it's already unplugged back here. I'm going to remove it just to kind of clean up the area and get it out of my way. Um, I've got a work down in here and I need just think I don't want to damage anything on this. Plus, I think I'm going to take the opportunity to clean things up while they're out of the vehicle. Uh, in order to remove this harness, you just simply go to these clips 
and it looks like I'm gonna just oh, this one's stubborn. You flip that little puppy up, and it should lift right off of there, just like so. I'll just do that for the next one, and it should come out. Okay, now we're gonna remove the upper intake manifold stiffener brackets right here. We're just going to undo these two 12 millimeter bolts. You can see this is stiffening it between the manifold and the cylinder head. All right, there's also a lower stiffening bracket that's down below here and it's a 14 millimeter bolt. I've got my wrench on one of the bolts here. You can see the bracket running from the wrench and then it runs way down up under here. I can't get any more light down there right now to show you, but you want to remove that bracket next. To remove the coolant tube, you remove two 10 millimeter bolts here, as well as two 10 millimeter bolts at the opposite end of the tube, tucked underneath right here. You also remove a 10 millimeter bolt right here on a bracket that holds this tube in place. Once that's undone, you'll be able to remove the tube. 